Hey guys, Namaste and welcome to our YouTube channel Twitter Prati. In today's CSS session, we are going to learn about CSS box model. As the CSS box model is very important and useful on our web page designing, so today's session will be very interesting for all. And along with this, we will also going to learn some stylish CSS box models. So please keep watching our video till end. And before we start, if you still haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell button that it will be notified whenever we publish our new session videos. Now let's start today's session. The CSS box model is used when we talk about any design and layouts. The CSS box model is essentially a box that wraps around every HTML element. It consists of margins, border, padding, and the content inside it. These three properties, margin, border, and padding are very important for designing the CSS box model. So while designing the CSS box model, we have to take care about these three properties. As we already learned about this margin, border, and padding functions on our previous session, we can understand its function on our CSS. If you don't know about the functions of this margin, border and padding, you can watch our previous session videos and also you can find the video link on i button. We have one sample web page, on this we have two divs, one is of class box title and another is box content. Now we are going to create one CSS box model using these two divs. For this, let's define some CSS properties for these two classes. While designing the CSS box model, we should be confirmed what size of box we are going to design. For this, we will use a property, weight, to give a fixed width size, like 300 pixel weight. And for defining the height, we will use a property, height. Let's give 50 pixel height for our box title. Along with this, let's give some border lines, border, 1 pixel solid. Arrange. For better look, let's make some rounded corners on our top side. Twenty pixel for top left side, twenty pixel for top right side, and zero pixels on the bottom sides. Again, let's get some background colors for our box title. Background color. Arrange. Then inside our box title, we have a text of heading 3. Let's make some changes on this F3. Let's make padding 0. Then margin 0 pixel. And let's make the color white. To make our title in the middle of our heading, we can give some padding on our top side of this box title. Padding top 15 pixel. Here we can see that after adding this 15 pixel padding top, our title box height has increased. So when we added padding or margin spaces into any box model, the height of this box model will also increase. So to make our box model to fix height size, we have to subtract this value from this total height value. That means we have to give just 35 pixel height. Then after adding this 15 pixel, it will become our 50 pixel of height title. So, while designing any box models, we have to take care about this padding and margin values that it can change our box model size. And same as this padding, the 1 pixel border is also make changes to our height. Let's make the 10 pixel border and we can see that our box model size has changed. So, while giving this border margin or padding values, to make our size fix, we have to subtract these values into our height and width values. As our border 1 pixel is added in the all direction of our title box, so to make fix our box title height and width, 
one pixel on the left side and one pixel on the right side means two pixel all together will be added on the width so we have to subtract these two pixels after then 298 pixel will be our width value which after adding this border value it will become exact 300 pixel of width similarly our border is also added on the top and bottom so we have to subtract more 2 pixels from our height thus now our title box is exactly of 300 pixel by 50 pixel height so we should always keep remember about these border values, padding values and margin values while designing any CSS box models now let's give some CSS properties for our box content class On start, let's give our width 300 pixel, height 150 pixel. After then, let's give some background colors for our box content class. Background color and give the light orange color. Here we can see that there is a gap between these two dips. This happens due to the default margin given for all dips. So to make attach these two dips, we will remove the margin values for this both two classes. Margin 0 pixel. Now we have another div box content just after this box title. And also on this box content, Let's give some border lines and make some rounded corners and add one background image on this bottom right side. For this, border 1 pixel solid orange, border radius, we are going to make the rounded corners on the bottom side only, so we will give 0 pixel for the top left side again 0 pixel for the top right side and 10 pixel for the bottom right side and 10 pixel for bottom left side here we can see that one pixel solid orange color borderline had added into our box content and also we have bottom rounded corners and also we can see that there is some changes on our box content with after using this border. So as we done on our box title, we have to subtract 1 pixel plus 1 pixel, 2 pixel width from our total width. Now we can see that our width problem has fixed. Again we have to subtract 2 pixels from our height too which makes our box content is fixed weight 150 pixel height and 300 pixel width after then let's give some padding for our box content that our text will be looks better padding 10 pixel on all the direction now again our box model size has changed to fix it we have to subtract 10 plus 10 20 pixels from the width and 20 pixels from the height now our box size has fitted properly now let's change the text alignment to justify that our text will be justified inside our box after then let's add one non-repeated background image on our bottom right corner for this we are going to use single background property so we are going to delete this background color and we use one single background property and we will define the color background image image1.png positioning bottom right side and no repeat As our original background image size is very bigger, so to reduce the background image size, we will use a property background size and give a value 50 pixel. Here we can see that our background image has placed on our bottom right corner. 
In this way, we can design any CSS box models as per our requirement. That's all for today. We will come back soon with new CSS session videos. Until then, take care, goodbye.